Yeah, I thought, uh, you know, we played pretty well for the majority of the game. Um, we still got a lot of work to do with execution. We're, we're getting there, you know, especially a new team. And then, uh, and so we go through patches where we're not uh, as fluent as we should be. But um, I like the style that we play at up-tempo game. And, um, you know, we're giving it a real crack on the defensive end. So, um, you know, it was good. And, Last play, you know, you always uh, you have confidence. The, the play before, we, we didn't get a shot, then um, the foul, and we always knew that we were going to get another look at it. So it was uh, great execution, and um, Jaron made a great shot that, uh, to put it in overtime. Talking through that last shot from Jaron, how close was that to what you guys drew up in some way? Well, it is. You know, the guys, the guys do a great job executing plays, you know, and that's what... Uh, the game's on the line. They trust each other, and they um, found a way to get him the ball. So it was, um, it was good. Jaron, uh, pretty good introduction to the Red Army. How are you feeling after that? Um, I'm soaking it all in right now. Uh, crowd was loud. We brought the energy. Was helped us with the energy. So I think they had a big, big thing to do with our win. What changed you? you went into or came out of three quarter time with seven points. What? I had to stop fouling, man. I had to stop fouling. Uh, I was up to four fouls. Uh, once I just settled in and uh, focused on what I need to be, what I need to do, and that's what I ha that's what that's what happened. So just locked in. So it was it a case that you weren't so worried about fouls anymore? You just decided to be yeah, just go out there and play hard. Coach always talking about uh, go out there and play hard, trust your teammates. Uh, it's a brotherhood, so that's what I did. I, I, I hope I, uh, that my teammates had my back, and they did, and that's what I ended up with. And what's the feeling of the, the crowd getting behind you when you hit it? Man, it's, oh, I'm still soaking it in. Like I said, <laughs> I'm still soaking it in. So I'm going to sleep on in, just wake up in the morning and just think like, man, it's, it's a good game last night. So. What, does it, what does it do for your confidence? I mean, uh, a sluggish start on Thursday and then you come out today and one hit a match winner and then also you know, score big points? Yeah, uh, it helps my confidence. But my teammates have been helping my confidence uh, throughout the uh, years. and I mean, throughout the months and uh, preseason, so it's really uh, helped me boost boost on top of that. So that's how I'm taking it. Jared, how much of a gamble was it to, to put Jaron back in when he had those four fouls? Yeah, it was yeah, it was a calculated gamble, but uh, we needed some score and punch. It kind of dried up a little bit, and then we got some plays, got the ball in his hands, and we did a great job going back to it. And, and they really struggled um, defending it, so it was like, well, let's ride it. You know, we need to get Casey out of there for a break. Damo was playing minutes. I thought JK uh, played really well, but uh, we just needed that scoring punch. And, you know, um, Jaron probably didn't have a great first half, but he was certainly uh, the catalyst for us to get back in. I think what we were down eight, um, maybe six at one time. So it was, um, you know, he made some big plays. And, and, and like he said, it's the, the confidence the teammates having each other, you know, they're giving the ball the right situation and, um, you know, he made the plays. It's great. We're only two games in, obviously, but is it, does it concern you seeing the pattern of the two games so far, getting that big lead sort of halfway through the, the game and then, and then really pushing? Yeah, look, I, I thought the first uh, couple of weeks would be a test for us because I don't think we were that cohesive as a unit, but I've seen some stuff uh, in the last quarter that made me really happy. The guys are working hard defensively to get stops, they were pushing the ball, they were rebounding. You know, that's Wildcats basketball. So we're getting there, we're not there yet, but uh, we're certainly heading in the right direction. How much do you think you bottle that sort of into the game, that overtime period, and, and show this week and say, this is what we're going for? Yeah, well, hopefully we can. Hopefully it catapults us into a good position to start the year well. And this is a league that you don't want to fall in a hole. And um, thankfully we're not 0-2, you know, we, we hang tough at the end and believed in each other even when you know 90% of the crowd probably thought oh, the game's gone and uh, we get an extra time and, and play some great basketball. Is that the ideal, having a team that you, know, you can be inconsistent enough at the end sort of game but when people need to step up, people step up, is that the kind of team you want to build? Uh, I think that's, that's Wildcats history have done that but no, we don't want that inconsistency enough for a coach anyway. You like to get a good four quarters of, of playing but look we'll, we'll get there. Uh, we've still got a lot of work to do and uh, we know we're a long way from our best and, but it's good to rely on your intensity and your defence and your teammates to, to help uh, while that's uh, improving. Jared, have you hit a bigger shot before in a 
Uh, that's probably my top five right there. Probably top five, the uh, biggest shots I done hit, but yeah. And you use a kind of player when a moment like that comes, you want the ball in your hands? Yeah, I always uh, wanted to be that type of player, put it, be put in that position to shoot like that. Uh, and it's, yeah, t definitely top five. What was said during the timeout, Jaren, did you say anything to your teammates about the potential to take that shot, or did anyone say anything? They were saying everything to me. They was like, hey, let it fly. Uh, coach drew up the play. Uh, I had just uh, had a turnover previous before that, and so I felt really like down about it. And my teammates was just there to pick me up. And coach drew up the play. We ran it, and that's what ended up happening. So it was all about confidence that my teammates have in me.